Hello, second graders. Welcome to our new unit on Greek myths. So this is similar to what we've already been learning about ancient Greek civilizations, but now we're going to focus specifically on Greek myths, which are all about fiction stories that the ancient Greece civilizations told to explain certain things. Now today, I want you to listen carefully for some of the two of the vocabulary words that we're going to focus on in this story. The first one is sanctuary. A sanctuary is a holy place that is safe and protected. The second word is spectators. Spectators are people that come to watch an event. It could be a sporting event, it could be a concert, or any kind of a large event where people come to watch and listen. Okay, today's story is called The Twelve Gods of Mount Olympus. Leonidas woke up early on the day of the foot races. Still lying in bed, he could hear his father, Cyrus, outside caring for the horses. He's probably feeding them, Leonidas thought to himself. And then we'll harness them to the cart and make our way to Olympia. Olympia was the site of the day's foot races in honor of Zeus, the king of all the Greek gods and goddesses. Leonidas, Leonidas and his father would take their pottery to sell to the people at the races. And then when they sold all they could, they would watch the races. Leonidas knew that if he asked, his father would tell him again how the gods and goddesses came to be and why he and other Greeks honored them with races, festivals, and feasts. It was his favorite story and he loved to hear his father tell it. But first, Leonidas had to get out of bed and get dressed. Otherwise, he wouldn't get to hear that the, to hear that story or see the races at all. After breakfast, he went outside to help his father, who had just finished harnessing the first of their two horses to the cart. Good morning, father, Leonidas said. Good morning, son. We're almost ready to go. Will you help me har harness this last horse? Leonidas nodded, and together, this, as the sun burnt away the morning fog, father and son harnessed the second horse. Once they double-checked that they were securely fastened to the cart, Leonidas and Cyrus finished strong, their pottery safely in the cart. Then, taking their seats on the wooden plank at the front of the cart, they started their trip to Olympia. After they'd traveled some miles down the road, Leonidas asked, Father, will you tell me again the story of the gods and goddesses? Of course, son. As you know, we're going to Olympia for the foot races held in honor of Zeus. Olympia is the home of an important sanctuary. There's that word. A sanctuary is a holy place that is safe and secure. So Olympia is the home of an important sanctuary devoted to Zeus, where we celebrate him and the other Olympian gods and goddesses with sporting competitions. The 12 gods of Mount Olympus are the most powerful of all the many gods, and Zeus is their leader. Of course, Mount Olympus is actually very far away, but this is a beautiful valley, beloved to them and perfect for the games. Their cart went over a bump, and Cyrus turned around to check their wares briefly before continuing the story. The gods and goddesses can sometimes be just like you and me. They can feel happy or sad, jealous and angry, 
or generous and loving. Unlike you or me, they have special powers to control things like the seasons and the weather, and when and where there is a war, sometimes with whom we fall in love with. Unlike you and me, gods are immortal. That means that they never die. Cyrus paused before continuing on with Leonida's favorite part of the story. That's how the gods are different from mortals on earth. But do you know how to tell the gods apart from each other? Leonidas did know, but he wanted his father to continue telling the story. So he said, yes, father, but tell me anyway. Cyrus continued on saying, well, as I said before, Zeus is the leader of all gods and protects all of us here on earth. He has a voice like rolling thunder, and he controls the wind, rain, and lightning, which he also uses as his weapons. He has two brothers, Hades and Poseidon, and together they rule over the whole world. While Zeus controls the heavens, Poseidon controls the sea and rules over it with a trident. When he strikes the ground with his trident, the earth shakes. And when he strikes the seas with it, the waves rise up as tall as a mountain. Zeus and Poseidon are two of the twelve gods who live on Mount Olympus and have thrones there. Leonidas and his father came to a fork in the road, and then they turned left. They could now see other carts ahead of them in the distance. Other vendors were looking to sell their things at the foot races in Olympia. And what about Hades, Zeus's other brother? Leonidas asked. While Zeus rules the heavens and Poseidon rules the sea, Hades rules the underworld. That is the land of the dead. Hades has a helmet that makes him invisible so that no one can see him coming. Hades' throne is in the underworld where he lives, Cyrus said. He sounds scary, Leonidas shivered. Who else lives on Mount Olympus? Well, Cyrus said, Zeus also has a sister who has a throne on Mount Olympus. Demeter is the goddess of the harvest and green. She looks after all of the fields and crops on earth. Zeus's wife, Hera, also lives on Mount Olympus. She is the queen of the gods and goddesses and is the goddess of women's lives. Hmm, how many is that? Cyrus turned and asked his son. Leonidas counted on his fingers. Zeus, Poseidon, Demeter, Hera. Uh, just four. Who are the other gods and goddesses who live on Mount Olympus? Well, there's Hephaestus, god of fire and the blacksmith of the gods. Aphrodite, god of love, Athena, goddess of wisdom, and Ares, god of war. This one is Hephaestus. This is Aphrodite. This is Athena. And this is Ares. Then there are the twins, Apollo, the god of light and music, and his sister Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. There's Hermes, the messenger of the gods, and finally Dionysus, the god of wine and the youngest of all the gods. 
even though these are the most powerful of all the gods and goddesses, Zeus is the strongest of them all. And it is he whom we honor today. Cyrus stopped the cart. They had finally reached Olympia. Spectators. <gasps> That's one of our words. Spectators are the people who come to watch an event. Spectators and vendors moved all around them as the athletes stretched out in preparation for their races. Leonidas knew that many miles away was the cloud-covered Mount Olympus. As the midday sun shone through some of the clouds, Leonidas imagined he could see the briefest glimpse of a palace with twelve golden thrones.